I love that because you, uh, both of you have a lot of experience. So for someone who has now done this for just six months, like myself, or even less, like what's your best takeaway and like learnings that you would like to share with beginners? Yeah, the best thing that you should be doing is just keep doing what you're doing. Like don't forget to market. That's the main thing that I can tell people because people get used to just posting and it's going to get repetitive. You know, you've been doing this for six months. Once you get one reach, once you reach one year, a year and a half, two years, it's going to get to the point where it's like the same thing every single day. So yeah. I don't want you to lose the whole marketing side of it. Yeah. You know? Always try to learn something new. Always try to implement something new in your marketing because if you stay with the same thing, and I, I fell with that. It happened to me at some point where I for completely forgot about the marketing side of it. Yeah. And I was just going through the the steps, you know, just posting every day. But I I lost that essence. So I yeah. But that's my advice. Like don't don't lose that essence. Love that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, to kind of piggyback off that, you really have to remember that the marketing of it all is you have to get people excited about the opportunity. And so some of the things that that I've done over the years, um, because as I just alluded to. I built a very successful affiliate marketing business in like 2016, 2017, 2018. And then in 2019, I kind of blew the whole thing up. And that was because I got bored and I really got shiny object syndrome and, and I got full of myself. I was like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. So maybe I should create a course on, you know, email marketing, or maybe I should create a course on branding. And mm -hmm. it just, it was because I was bored that I went out there and did this. And I really just alienated my entire audience. So the first thing is just kind of embrace the boring, you know, like it's okay, you know, just come in, find some motivation, um, you know, whether it's helping people or whether it's growing your account or whether it's making more money and scaling up, whatever, and just kind of embrace it and realize like, that's okay. It's okay to be bored a little bit. Um, you can still find joy in it. Uh, try to avoid the shiny object syndrome and also consider what Andre said in the sense that, you know, sometimes after a while, you know, six, eight, 12 months where, you know, you have this huge audience and they've kind of seen the same thing again and again and again, it's like, they can almost become blind to it. It's like, yep, yeah, I've seen her do that. I've, so I think a common mistake that a lot of affiliates make, because it is so easy just to switch products. And, and, and I'm not saying it's never a good idea to s switch products. Sometimes it makes sense. But I think it because it's so easy to switch products, a lot of people, affiliates will say, oh, this one's losing traction. I was making uh, X amount of dollars every month. Now I'm making one tenth of that. This is over. This is dead. And the first instinct is to shift products. Yeah. Promote something new. And I don't think you have to do that. What I think is is almost better is just continue with what you're promoting because you obviously believe in it. You have a core audience that sees that you believe in it. But what you have to do is you have to create a different door for them to come through. And to give you a uh, concrete uh, or tangible examples, when I first started with Legendary Marketer in 2020 in my effort to rebuild the business that I successfully killed in 2019, uh, I started off the same way. You know, I had a simple opt-in page, a bridge page video that uh, sent people over to the video sales letter for Legendary Marketer, and then obviously email follow-up. And that worked incredibly well, um, in part thanks to the, you know my explosive growth on TikTok, which was a fairly new platform at the time. But I started seeing like right around eight months to a year, I started seeing it go down a little bit. Where I, once I was making forty thousand or fifty thousand a month, now I'm making twenty thousand. Like oh shit, you know what I mean? This is not going well. So what I did is instead of jumping ship, I created a new front door and I actually created a free course that basically brought people in got them more familiar with affiliate marketing like your ebook does and mm -hmm. then said hey here's the next step go yeah. go learn from from the 15 day online business builder challenge and that shot me back up and that worked really well and then now it's like what am i doing well i'm still promoting legendary marketer my to my list but i could sense that there was a little bit of blindness to it so right now i'm actually doing a case study where i started a brand new instagram account and it's like, I'm not going to use my current list. I'm not going to use my current social media following. I'm not going to use any of my authority or past earnings. And let's see if I can get this up to $2,500 in commissions, right? Something attain, uh, that seems doable. Yeah. And all that is, is just a different front door to keep people excited. So that's where the, uh, as Russell Brunson says, the abundant inventiveness 
is what will determine the longevity of your success. So just figure out a way to be abundantly inventive and uh, things should work out for the long run for you.